there's Mark. Oh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. My name is Mark. Wait. No, it's not. <laughs> and this is Mark. <laughs> Yay. Want your introduction? You want to remind me of who I am? Yeah, would you remind just turning yourself on and reminding him who Mark is? Who he is? You are yes. who you are, correct? Amen. Amen. Yes. Mark Stanton Welch is a singer, songwriter, teacher, facilitator, sound alchemist, vibrational healer, and spiritual mentor. He travels the world assisting others in reclaiming their true and whole selves through music, chant, mantra, song, movement, activity, information, and inspiration. His performances are a guided evening of presentations, songs, and sing-alongs, often unpredictable, but always a life-affirming adventure. Please visit Mark's website at www.markstantonwelch.net for a closer exploration of his workshops, events, and music service. Lifetimes have led us to the glorious now. A world in transformation has become the crucible for our personal and collective reawakening. Carp diem, my friend, Spring has sprung. I am risen. Yes, this is our moment. A new life begins. Let's do this together, Mark. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that introduction. It sounds uh, just exactly familiar. <laughs> so, first of all, what a delight. What a real, real delight to be here. And I want to welcome you to my space where things are taking place and everything has been carefully orchestrated and set up, kind of, just to support the intention of what we're doing here this morning. Our whole time together is going to be, I believe, a little bit different. It's going to involve you. It's going to involve the power of your voice and your intention. And it is my intention to create a brand new vibration that lives in you. We're just going to reactivate it this morning. So it's going to involve you speaking a lot, singing a lot, doing all of those things. And hopefully with the things that are going on electronically and all of the thing, those things, it's all going to work out. So I'm going to keep going as if all is well, because it is. And whatever appears before me on the screen here is really just, it's not as it seems. So I will trust that. But in order to get started, I usually would do a song right now, but I want to lay a foundation. There are, um, I've got seven things I want to say, and that's, uh, let me get that out of the way. One, we are so much more than we have been led or taught to believe. Now, we're not going to discuss this. I just want to say these words to allow a foundation to be set. Number two, there is a new vibration that is replacing what I call the doctrine of limitations with a new and deeper celestial truth of our actual eternal design. And today the ideas and words will address that specifically. Number three, your own voice spoken and sung is a primary tool of manifestation. And so we shall speak and sing together in a collective sharing that will amplify the potency of our expression. Number four, in times of transformation like these, we are reactivating into conscious knowing our own inner template. All of the words today will serve as triggers to support that personal activation. Number five, you are free to participate in and embrace these sharings or not. Your own inner wisdom will guide you. And the sixth thing I wanted to say that lay the foundation, I will not be fleshing out any of these ideas, aside from this little bit of stuff at the front end. Your speaking and singing, all of this with me is vital to that activation. You will know what resonates with you. 
and I invite you to trust your own inner knowing. And finally, I want to read a little bit of information about my perception of these times because it is foundational to what I'm choosing to do this morning. 2020 started off as a year of bringing balance to life. It's in the numbers, as they say, with a four. But this is not the kind of balance that likely anyone had in mind. This is a force feed, redirect, happening at lightning speed in an unprecedented, unpredictable, moment-by-moment -moment wash that no living human can really escape. The energetic impact of this much significant change alone is monumental. And that does not even take into account the personal process that each human has had to navigate and experience you and me. It is, in the favorite word of these times, unprecedented. So being woken up by a mysterious virus that stops the facade of human life in its tracks and ushers everyone behind their own closed doors to think about it, it's actually a timely celestial intervention, so to speak. Humanity, daily life has really reached a crossroads between what I am and what I was taught to think I am. And in my opinion, each one of the six billion plus are going to have to face the mirror and reconnect with a long lost truth of who we are by design. The stay in place order was the first wave of taking personal stock and accountability for who we have become and then deciding who we shall be and who we want to be. Being so very out of balance, it is hard to take the first step to right the ship because there is no sense of direction. But the cool thing about these times and these rushing forth times is that any forward step out of what has been is going to be the best one. That's a personal leap of faith that each of us is being invited to to take. So, foundationally, that's where we're coming from today. Fan the flame in the heart of the essence. Open up your mind and let the ego fade away with time. And find that selfless place of service. Breathe in the power sublime. And let the fragments finally realign. And step into holiness where life and love they coalesce step into everything you are and lift up your weariness so oh, don't resist say yes oh yes because you can be all of what you are now cultivate compassion and caring walk at humility side and let the presence through you magnify and transform the ordinary into the wildly divine and let love be your ever present guide so step into holiness where life and love coalesce 
Just step into everything you are And lift up your weariness So don't resist Say yes, oh yes Cause you can be all of what you are I open up today, yes, I open up today, join me on that, I open up today, I open up today, I open up today, and so it is. So, by acknowledging what we just did, we stand at a particular threshold. And I would submit that many of you, if not all, have already stood at the threshold and walked through. We're just going to refine a few things today and give ourselves some more tools and activate some different frequencies within it, with your permission. Now, I said I was going to share a bit of information, and I want to do this one more time before we actually get involved in the speaking. The phrase, I am that I am, expressing as me, dropped in during the creation of a book I've done called Tools for the Times. It pointed in a very interesting direction, to the source of all. It soon became apparently obvious that I and we are a direct component of the cosmic source a unique expression with a unique set of skills and talents and experiences to have and be had on this earthly third dimension of free choice and seeming duality. Surely we're far from what we have been taught for many incarnations. And as truth students on the journey that you've had, we realize that we've already established that. And so we are designed as a whole being. And though we are, our awareness, along with the earth domain rules of engagement, has snatched away that awareness from our, con our conscious access. So let me remind you, you are a direct element of the cosmic source incarnated into this glorious earth plane to remember and reawaken and reclaim the whole truth of you and put it into conscious action in your moments of living. And as an infinite energetic being, you are also here by choice to assist in facilitating the collective transformation of humanity in these early Aquarian age times. That's a lot to say, and little did we know that when we came in this morning, we were going to be reminded of such an opportunity that we have by design. And finally, you are a divine spiritual being living in a remarkable human physical body vehicle with complete access to the fluid world of emotion and a magnificent mind that easily makes manifest your every thought and focus. And with a host of unseen beings, unthing, unseen etheric support, as well as your personal source connection to the higher self, you are pioneering the conscious movement into fourth and fifth dimensional living. Connected with all of life, in design and intent, you are being redirected towards living fully in the moment to become a willing and full expression of compassion, of gratitude, and of grace. And so it is. So, let's breathe those words in, and as we go from this point and cross a threshold into action, I'm going to invite us to consider a particular tool that I've found very useful through my days of living. What I would invite you to do right now is to reclaim your personal birth name. That would be your first, your middle, your last. Because when we do, several things occur. One of them is that I call forth a living template that is within me by design. More on that later. 
The second is I put a cocoon of light and safety around me and allow myself to be truthful to that new frequency and not be concerned about any external influence. So by speaking my name, Mark Stanton Welch, what I'm doing is activating those two elements. So if you will, I'm going to count to three and invite each of you to go ahead and speak out loud at the same time that name. We will do it three times. By the way, if you are from another culture and you have a whole host of names instead of just the three or don't even have three, you put out what you are and just be understand that this is a trigger remembering that's going on. So my invitation is to trust it with feet upon the earth and with a breath that we take in on the count of three, we will speak our personal birth name. One, two, three, Mark Stanton Welch. And again, one, two, three, Mark Stanton Welch. And again, one, two, three, Mark Stanton Welch. And so it is. And so here we are. I don't know if some of you, because I'm speaking my own name there, you might have decided to speak my name, and that's fine. I appreciate the extra support. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to invite on the screen now for the words for the cosmic, no, I'm sorry, for the opening group, group statement to be said. So I'm going to invite us to speak this. I do not have a visual of anything going on there, so I am going to have to trust that those things are there and move forward in great faith. So together we're going to speak. I am designed for perfect health, unwavering abundance, with a host of dimensional tools and powers to live in oneness with all of life. I am destined to fully wake up in my own time in accordance with my free will choices to consciously live in my aligned vibration as a unique frequency in a world that is completely of my own design. I am unlimited, unequivocally loved and cherished, filled with incessant wonder and imagination, fully capable of complete self-care and unconditional love through my self-cleansing and self-repairing energy bodies, and so it is. And with that statement, we walk and cross the threshold. Now, these things are a mouthful. And the words are selected to go ahead and have vibrational activations take place. I invite you to trust that and just notice through your own awareness and connection with self how things are unfolding this morning. So, if we could put up the slide of the celestial truths, we're going to do the very first one. I am a spiritual being having a human experience in the physical body. I carry within me the deep knowing that I have all my tools, my skills, capacities as that spiritual being available to me at any time. I consciously choose to call them forth and act from them. In this state of infinite transcendent living, I carry the ongoing template of I am that I am expressing as me to call upon and live from in this any now moment. And so it is. And the slide appears in front of me. So please take a breath as we move to the second of these celestial truths. I am by design an expanded being. I now activate and live in and from all that is contained within me to spring forth the forms that will surely make manifest my intentions, my desires, my personal missions, and my pre-birth established purposes. I have direct access to all past and future lives and can draw from them the skills, talents, and perspectives that will serve to amplify my current one. And so it is, and we move to the third. My health on all levels is dependent on the energetic baggage I carry and store within cells, tissues, chakras, DNA, and energy bodies. Consistently clearing that toxic debris of energy, thought, and belief assures my ongoing state of vitality and willingness to participate in the whole of life. I now release anything that has been in the way of my perfectly functioning 
physical vehicle. And so it is. All right, and now we're going to take the slides away. I'm just going to intervene here. Intervene's an interesting word choice. And I invite you to repeat after me. I must take good care of me. I must take good care of me. Give my love to every moment. Set my power free. Nurture with compassion every holy cell in me. As this I know, I shall grow. So how can you repeat it when you don't know it? I will give you space this time. I just wanted to present it. I must take good care of me. I must take good care of me. We repeat. I must take good care of me. Give my love to every moment. Here we go. Give my love to every moment. Set my power free. Set my power free. Nurture with compassion. Come on. Nurture with compassion. Every holy cell in me. Every holy cell in me. As this I know. As this I know. I shall grow. I shall grow. Here we go. I must. I must take good care of me. I must take good care of me. And so as we declare that that is the intention, so it shall be, we move now into another set of statements called statements of high frequency. So I invite you to take a breath and on a count of three, speak out that birth name one more time. One, two, three, Mark Stanton Welch. Together, on all levels, in all dimensions, and in all my energy bodies, I now release the blockages to my free verbal expression. I set free all energetic residue contained in the unexpressed soundings of any woundings, dishonorings, devaluings I have experienced in all my incarnations. I claim my ability and right to speak and claim my truth. From this moment forward, I am free to express in the world. And so it is. Let's go to the second. And with feet on the earth and with a deep breath we pull in, we say, On all levels, in all dimensions, and in all my energy bodies, I now release the energetic residue of all past thoughts, illusions, and beliefs that have inhibited me from remembering my divine self and my constant connection to Source. I lift and release all veils over the truth of this dimension to reveal to me the beauty and love in all of life. I release all blockages to the conduit of the I am that I am that flows constantly into me via my open crown chakra. I willingly accept all the guidance, gifts, information, and inspirations that are directed to me to make easy and flowing my way through this earthly dimensional life. And so it is. And with feet on the earth, take a deep breath, and we say together, life is trustworthy. The more I live as if, then the more it delivers the trusting experience. The events and people brought into my altar of awareness are part of an orchestrated flow of just what will amplify my awareness, clear debris, and deliver exactly what I need to remember who I am by design. I remain open to the forms and bless them for arriving at just the right and perfect time. And now I invite you to sing along with me here. We'll just do a short version of this. Here's how it goes one time. I have enough. I do enough. I am enough. 
My life is beautiful. I have enough. I have enough. I do enough. I do enough. I am enough. I am enough. My life is beautiful. Again, I have enough. I do. I do enough. I am. I am enough. My life is beautiful. One last time. I have enough. I do. I do enough. I am. I am enough. My life is beautiful. And we breathe into that. And on the count of the three, the three, we speak our name one more time. One, two, three. Mark Stanton Welch. And now some gratitude treatments. I am grateful for the ever-changing flow of life. I celebrate my capacity to choose to let go of what has been, to lay down the pole of the familiar, to be fully open to the infinite possibility of this brand new now. I give thanks for my willingness to cleanse the old to be fresh for each morning's gift. I am grateful that I will be taken care of when I let go. And so it is. And we move to the next. And again, with feet on the earth, I give great thanks for the infinite supply. Everywhere there is evidence and testimony to the constant flow of manna. I willingly claim my place in the flow and affirm the never-ending abundance for all. I am so grateful for all that comes into my life. In my thoughts, beliefs, words, and actions, I demonstrate prosperity, joy, and celebration for life. And so it is. Let's sing about it. I'm gonna work as if I don't need the money. Come on, repeat. I'll work as if I don't need the money. Love as if I've never been hurt. Come on. Love as if I've never been hurt. Dance as if no one is watching. Come on. Dance as if no one is watching. Sing as if I know I won't be heard. Here we go. Sing as if I know I won't be heard. I have this moment. Come on. I have this moment to be the all I am. To be the all I am. What's done is now behind me. Come on. What's done is now behind me. I feel myself expand. I feel myself expand. Yes. I'm going to work as if I don't need the money. Come on. Work as if. Work as if I don't need the money. Sing. Love is if I never been hurt. Come on. Love is if I never been hurt. Dance as if no one is watching. Come on. Dance as if no one is watching. Sing as if I know I won't be hurt. There we go. Sing as if I know I won't be hurt. I have this moment. Come on. I have this moment to be the all I am, to be the all I am. What's done is now behind me. 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 That's a good one to end on. What's done is now behind me. And finally, the last words we want to say together. That's kind of a, a, and now our last words. Okay, so here we go. Nothing is as it seems. There is always another multidimensional viewpoint to look at and from. Boy, is this one important. Number two, the outer reflects the inner unequivocally. I stay clear and clean on the outside to experience the life I deserve and desire on the inside. Whoops, 
I deserve and desire on the outside. Inside, it's all one. I was going to say, Mark, we got it reversed on the screen. Are we supposed to do it both ways? I stay clear and clean on the inside to experience a life I deserve and desire on the outside. You know what I was doing? I was thinking about the next song I was doing. Okay, I have to own that. So isn't it fun how we can drift into the ether so quickly? Let's come back to our last two statements. Okay. Resistance is a sure way to conflict, chaos, pain, and staying put. This ever oscillating universe is in constant change. Learning to be in the flow while trusting it without hesitation will deliver me into the truth of my being. And so it is. And finally, my old thoughts of limitation no longer serve me in the illusory way that they once did. I replace my old thoughts, beliefs, and patterns with the higher frequency truths that will significantly expand my experience of the I am that I am expressing as me. So what we've done here is we've laid a powerful groundwork and likely you are familiar with all of these ideas, but they bear repeating. Because in order to do that last statement, to create a different belief system and therefore manifest different forms on the outside, we need to, to do our own personal, let's just call it reprogramming. So we're going to bring in these thoughts or something like them to repeat. With that in mind, I have, if you go to markstantonwelch.net, you will see a big link that says resource page for today's sharings. Everything I've said and more is there. So I invite you to go and check that out at your convenience so that you will have these statements in the form that they are that you can use as if or make adjustments to fit you. But know that they will serve you. So, and to seal the deal, we're going to go ahead and speak our birth name three more times so that we have that cocoon of, of actual protection energetic wise around us constantly. And we also get called, we call back our original template from whence all of these statements have come from. We know who we are. And as we speak our name, we reclaim that essence to be used in the moment. Therefore, the more we say it, the more we call that back. Now, we could talk a lot about, oh my gosh, I can't speak the name because I have such debris with it. Or we could talk about, well, wait a minute, when I got married, I changed my name. I, I don't feel comfortable with the old one. Yada, yada, yada. And I understand that. Trust me on this. Go back to the original birth name until you have no resistance. And then you will connect with that truth of your being from whence all of these statements have come. So, let's speak it again. One, two, three. Mark Stanton Welch. Mark Stanton Welch. Mark Stanton Welch. And so it is. And now you are free to move about your life as you see fit.